Thanks guys. Today on Big Friday Sports, the football team takes the weekend off, but the rest of the athletic program is staying busy. Soccer is hitting the road for some games this weekend. Find out what first year coach Matt Potter thinks of their recent success. Big Friday Sports is next. Welcome back to Big Friday Sports. There's nothing like the game day atmosphere in Norman, but without this particular group, the football season just wouldn't be the same. OU Knightley Zach Hedrick goes between the lines with the football grounds crew. Yeah, no kidding. Great game, great food. Did you happen to try any of that fried food? Well, Brant, I searched for hours looking for a fried Oreo, but I couldn't find it, had no luck, so I settled for some funnel cakes and corn nuggets. That's too bad. I, I cannot do that fried food. I start feeling like Big Tex was today, that indigestion, just not good. Oh, uncalled for. Uncalled but there, for. there are some uh, big games this weekend in the Big 12. While veteran players continue to thrive, it was a couple of new faces that helped the Sooners. Penn State transfer Justin Brown provided Stoop squad with an explosive special teams performance. Brown finished the night with over 100 return yards on three attempts, two of which led to OU touchdowns. The senior transfer also continues to develop a rapport with quarterback Landry Jones, connecting with the signal caller twice for an additional 55 yards. Coach Norvell spoke about what else Brown brings to this Sooners team. From the pros to the collegiate ranks, 8th ranked Stanford faced a road test from the Washington Huskies last night. Keith Price finds Casson Williams out in the flats and he's going to take it for the touchdown to give the Huskies a 17 to 13 lead. Stanford needs to score here to win the game and stay undefeated. Josh Nunez throws it up, but it's going to be picked off by Desmond Trufant as Washington gets the big upset 17 13. The baseball team finished up the red white exhibition series last night. The red team swept all five games, including this one, 6-4. Jonathan Gray pitched four innings of one-hit baseball to give his team the advantage. Hunter Lockwood was a bright spot for the white team, going 2-4 for four with two RBI. Some interesting games in the conference, but let's talk about the OU game. What are the seniors going to need to do to win? Let's start on offense with the hero from last week's game. Trey Millard stole the show with 119 receiving yards and 45 yards on the ground. And I look for him to be a big part of the offense, not just in this game, but the rest of the season. Law of nature, when the beast is hungry, you have to feed him. Keep getting Millard the ball. Whether you are a roughneck, a classic video game character, or even a host for Sooner Sports Pad, homecoming is for everyone. Homecoming is an event meant to be enjoyed by old Sooners and young Sooners alike. But preparation for today's event takes months of hard work. The parade is a prelude to the main event, an ending fit for a king and queen. The Sooners had a storybook ending of their own, blasting the Jayhawks 52-7, a perfect precursor for next week's top 10 matchup against Notre Dame. For OU Knightley, I'm Brant Moreau. The women's soccer team hits the road this week to prepare for tonight's 7 o'clock matchup against Rice. The match comes on the heels of the biggest win in program history Friday night when the Sooners toppled third-ranked Oklahoma State, scoring the only goal of the game in the 66th minute. The Sooners then fell to Oral Roberts on Sunday. First-year head coach Mark Potter spoke on the program's wild weekend. Very strong wins all day tomorrow. Wow. So make sure everything's tied down if you're tailgating. No kidding. With two Definitely. passing teams, the wind could have a huge impact on this game. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Well, thanks for watching OU Nightly Sports. Be sure to join us on Monday on OU Nightly for a look back at the weekend in Sooner Sports. And remember, Sooner Sports Pod comes your way this season on Tuesday nights here on OU TV.